Hi children, how are you? Hope you all are doing well. In our previous class, we completed the chapter Earth and its companion. The Earth and its companion. Today we are going to discuss the textual exercises and activities. For that, all of you take your textbook with a pencil and be ready to write. Okay. All of you take page number 79. Can you see that activity? Identify the pictures and unscramble the words to write the names. The first one, Earth. E-A-R-T-H, Earth. Second one, Moon. M-O-O-N, Moon. Third one, Stars. S-T-A-R-S, Stars. Okay, move on to next page. All of you take page number 82. 82. Can you see that MCQ questions? Yes. First question. The shape of our earth is dash. Option A round. Option B flat. Option C square. We know the shape of our earth is round like an orange. So the right answer is option A round. Second question. Rotation of the earth causes dash. Option A seasons. Option B earthquakes. And option C day and night. We know the rotation of earth causes day and night. Okay, move on to next page. Page number 83. Can you see that MCQ question? First question. The only natural satellite of Earth is dash. Option A, star. Option B, sun. Option C, moon. We know the only one natural satellite of Earth is moon. Yes, so the right answer is option C, moon. Second question. Holes on the moon's surface are called metroids and craters. Then asteroids. Okay. The right answer is craters. We know there are huge holes on the surface of the moon called craters. Okay. So the right answer is option B. Then let us discuss the textile exercises. Okay. For that all of you take page number 85. Session A. Oral question. Why does the earth look flat to us? Why does the first question, why does the earth look flat to us? The earth is very big. The earth is very big. We can see only small part of the earth. This small part appears flat to us. Okay. We can see only small part of the earth. That's why we can feel that earth is flat. Actually, the shape of the earth is round. Second question. What causes day and night? What causes day and night? We know the rotation of the earth causes day and night. The rotation of the earth causes day and night. Section B. Science quiz. First question. Name two movements of the earth. We know earth has two types of movements. Rotation and the revolution. Rotation and the revolution. Second question. Name the stationary star in the sky. We know the stationary star. Yes, definitely pole star. Pole star. Okay, pole star or Dhrutara. Okay, section C. Take the correct options. First question. People go into the space are called dash. People go into the space are called dash. Option A, doctors. Option B, engineers. Option C, astronauts. We know people go into space are called astronauts. The right answer is astronauts. Second question. The moon reflects the light of dash. Option A, the sun. Option B, a star. Option C, the earth. We know moon reflects the light of the sun. Moon reflects the light of the sun. Okay. Then third question. Pole star helps to find the dash direction. Option A, east. Option B, north. Option C, south. We know the pole star helps to find the north direction. North direction. So the right answer is north. Option B, north. Next. Session D. Fill in the blanks with the help of given words. Okay. Fill in the blanks with the help of given words. Okay, children. First question. We can observe stars with a dash. Options are telescope or microscope. We know we observe stars with the help of telescope. Telescope. The right answer is telescope. Second question. The path followed by the earth around the sun is called dash axis or orbit. We know the path around the sun. The path followed by the earth around the sun called the orbit. Orbit. Okay. Third question. Pole star is all 
also called uh, options are Dhrutara or Dharmatara. The right answer is Dhrutara. Dhrutara. Then fourth question. The revolution of the earth causes dash seasons or day and night. We know the rotation causes day and night. So the revolution of the earth causes seasons. Seasons. Okay. Then children's session E. Very short answer questions. Very short answer question. First question. Name one constellation. Name any one constellation. Scorpius, Leo, Azza Major, Orion. These are the different types of the total around 88 constellations. Here I am right. Leo, Leo. Second question. Write the names of the phases of the moon. Okay. Write the names of the Phases of the moon. Okay, the phases of the moons are new moon, crescent moon, half moon, gibbous moon, then full moon. Okay, new moon, crescent moon, half moon, gibbous moon, full moon. So children, the short answer questions and long answer questions are we already discussed in our notebook. Okay, so all of you read your textbook and notebook thoroughly. Okay children, thank you.